Working in the rear fender well, remove the three 8mm fasteners from the wheel well liner as indicated by the green arrows. The left side is shown. Repeat the same steps for the right side. Peel back the wheel well liner and wedge it behind the tire to hold it out of your way. Working inside the rear wheel well at the fender and bumper connection, remove the 8mm fastener as indicated by the green arrow. The left side is shown. Repeat the step for the right side. Working at the bottom of the rear bumper, remove the 11 8mm fasteners as indicated by the green arrows. Using a small flathead screwdriver, lever off the bumper trim pieces, green arrow. Left side shown, repeat the step for the right side. Then remove the T25 torque fastener located beneath the cover. Grab a corner of the bumper cover and unclip it from the mounting bracket. There are five clips, green arrows, on the bumper support holding the bumper on. Lift up and pull away from the body to disconnect. The bumper cover is fragile and the hooks for the clips can tear if not properly disengaged. If you have one that won't release, unclip it by pressing down using a plastic prying tool. Be careful not to scratch your paint. You can use masking tape to protect the paint in areas in which you have to lever the clip. The left side is shown. Repeat the steps for the right side. Once the corner of the bumper is released, Use a plastic pry tool and release the rear of the bumper from the mounting bracket. There are two retaining areas similar to the corners of the bumper cover. Left shown, repeat the step for the right side. Then, with help from a friend, slide the bumper off the vehicle. If the rear bumper impact absorber needs to be replaced, Remove the three 18mm bumper impact absorber fasteners, green arrows, left side shown, repeat the steps for the right side. When installing the bumper cover, slide the bumper slots into the bumper mounting bracket on body. Once the bumper corners are installed correctly, install the bumper fasteners and check for the alignment with the body. Install all the fasteners and tighten. Thanks for watching. Click here to view the original article along with hundreds of other DIY content for your car.